Hey guys, I'm Ivory and welcome to my channel. So today I will be doing another video where I do three different looks using one palette. And the palette that I will be using is the Morphe 39S Such a Gem palette. There are 39 shades and this currently retails for $35. I have to give a huge thanks to Crystal. She is also a YouTuber here. I will link her channel in the description box below. She did a review on this and I commented on it and we know each other. I wasn't a stranger or anything, but she had said that she wasn't a huge fan of pinks and purples and I told her that once she's done with this palette to sell it to me because I really want it because I love purples and pinks and just this whole color story is very me and she was just like oh yeah you can have it it was just it was a perfect scenario of one person's trash is another person's treasure so that really worked out in my favor but yes go to her channel to see her review and also tell her I sent you so like I said I will be doing three different looks reason being because well, I want to give you guys a variety of things you could do with the palette But also because there are so many colors I don't want to just throw on colors into one look just to say that I used a little bit of a shadow on my eyes It doesn't really give a good opinion about its performance So I'd rather stick to a couple shadows and just creating a look I really like and then creating more looks with different colors from the same palette just to give a better Overall first impressions. I think those are more helpful. So the first look is an all matte look where I incorporated the pinks as well as the purples and the second look is a cut crease and I do get to play with some of the eyeshadow toppers which is the middle row of this palette and the third look is the one that I'm wearing now which is this halo eye and in this look I get to play with some of the metallics as well as the one loose glitter that is in this palette before we get into the video be sure to subscribe if you haven't already I post new videos every single week and also be sure to follow me on my social media everything is under underscore ivory cherry let's get started okay so before applying shadow on i'm going in with my nyx eyeshadow primer this is in the color white and it doesn't come out super white like you can buff it out so that it's just lighter than your actual skin tone but this is a really great affordable eyeshadow primer if you are looking for one all right so once my eyes are primed i'm going in with a morphe m506 brush and i'm first going into the shade pink prize i'm gonna add that into the first inner fourth of my eye i would say and i'm gonna pack this all over the lid this is all mattes and i like to pat it down before i start buffing it out and as you can see this pigment it's so good no patchiness it's true to the pigment in the pan oh I love and I'm using the same brush for all of the colors I'm just gonna go in between each color with a color switch I'm next level lazy okay you guys aren't washing my makeup brushes I'm washing my makeup brushes so I want to wash the least amount possible <laughs> work smarter not harder am I right and then once that is down with the same brush I'm gonna go into the shade bougie and I'm gonna apply that right next to it oh you see that pigment? It's so good. And by the way, this is just a rough outline. Once all the colors are down, then I will kind of fine tune the details. All right, and then next off, I'm gonna apply Purple Majesty, and that is gonna be applied right next to this fuchsia color. By the way, if you get this palette and you have a channel and you wanna call them by their names, I always tape the names at the lid on the inside so that I could just look up to refer to each of the shades. Don't don't be taping it on the lid or on the back so that you have to flip back and forth every single time. And when you're placing down mattes like this and it's going all over the lid versus just as a transition shade, I suggest keeping your eyes closed the entire time so that you don't get any creasing or wrinkling on the lid. It just makes application way easier. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into Make It Rain. This color looks exactly like that suit Dave Chappelle wore in his skit when he was impersonating Prince. I don't know if some of you guys are old enough to know what I'm talking about but if you ever have free time google Dave Chappelle show Prince and it should show up because it's it's a classic skit and I'm gonna place that as the last color and I'm gonna flick it upward so that it's more cat like okay and at this point I'm gonna go back into all four of the shades and I'm gonna re-intensify each of the four shades and I'm also gonna start blending them upward so that there's a nice fade I'm also going to take Grape Mines and I'm going to use that to blend out and make it rain. Alright, next with a Morphe M410 brush, I'm going into both. Oh yes. 
that's the actual name as well as here for it and i'm gonna apply that to my brow bone the glitters are scattered in it like it's not smooth like a typical metallic i know these are eyeshadow toppers so they're not supposed to be super pigmented i don't know i, I feel like i would have just preferred them as actual eyeshadows like they're pretty but it's just personally i would have preferred these pans to have way more pigmentation. The glitter is also getting into my brows. Ugh, get out of my swamp. Okay, I'm gonna move on to my lower lash line now. Before I do, I just wanted to say that I did go ahead and use Pink Prize and apply that as my blush just so that everything's a little bit more monochromatic. Too baby pink for my taste. I actually want to change my brow bone highlight color because those eyeshadow toppers, they just, they just faded and the glitters from them kind of just fell into my shadow, which I didn't really like. So I think I'm gonna go into this golden shade, which is Pearl Fection, and I'm gonna just put that on top oh yeah that's way better i'm also going to take a pencil brush and apply that same color onto the tip of my nose as well as the bridge okay so for the lower lash line i'm going in with the elf eyeliner brush and i'm going to go into those four shades again which is in order pink prize bougie purple majesty and make it rain and i'm going to tight line each of those colors to my lower lash line and for the last shade make it rain i'm also going to make sure that it connects to the top shadow okay so i went ahead and added a white eyeliner into my waterline i'm actually going to go into an elf eyeliner brush again and i'm going to go into the shade grape mines and i'm going to apply that right on top of the white eyeliner and this is the completed first look. I did go ahead and apply here for it, and I just patted it on top of my lips just to give it a little, I don't know, just a little. And then I also went ahead and added a little bit of bedazzlement into my inner corner. So far, I'm not a huge fan of the the middle row. I'm aware that it's just a topper, but I don't know, I'm, I'm not here for it. Other than that, I love the end result. I love the way the colors go. I am very happy so far. So sadly, I'm gonna take this off and and we're gonna work on look number two. Okay, so for the second look, I primed the same way that I did in the first look. Starting with a Luxie 243 brush, I'm gonna go into the shade Plums Up, and I'm gonna stick that into my crease and a little bit above it. I actually had to fake my lid crease today because if I did it where it actually is, it would be very low. Like when I look straight ahead, you wouldn't see a lot of the shadow, and it just looks disproportionate because you have like a lot of transition color and then very little lid color so I, I tried to fake it today and I'm first outlining where I want this color to go it'll have an arch and then it does this type of swoop but you want them to look symmetrical you want them to swoop at the same time so what I did this time I don't always do this but I tried it this time I start with the arch and I stop about halfway through because I'm pretty confident that these are symmetrical right here and then I'm gonna stop because this part this is unknown territory okay so I'm actually gonna start at the end instead this time and I'm gonna find the middle ground and they'll, they'll just find each other you just have to hope that they will connect and merge and all will be good and once the shape is down we're gonna go back in and we're gonna re-intensify this color and after the color is down I'm gonna take a clean brush well this was clean but I did this eye so that's what dirtied it up but take a clean brush and you're just gonna diffuse the edges okay and then afterwards I'm gonna go into my color switch and just get some of that shadow off and with this brush, I'm next gonna go into the shade Berry Good, and I'm gonna use that to further blend out plums up. I'm gonna go back into that plum shade and just re-intensify it because I feel like we lost the intensity of it when I started blending things out, and that's totally normal, so I'm just gonna go back in. And then going in with a Q-tip and some micellar water, I'm gonna carve out my lid. Okay, and once I have cleaned up the lid, I'm going back in with my NYX eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna apply that everywhere on the lid. My hands are shaking right now. I was minding my own business doing this eye look and then I saw a spider just dangling inches away from me and I'm, I'm like, Ugh, right now. I don't do spiders. I wait for my husband to get them. That's one of the reasons why you get married. To have the other person kill the spiders. And Steve's not here to kill the spider. And it landed on my bench where I'm filming and I was like, oh my god. So I had to take my slipper and smash it and just, I'm not okay. 
All right, so now we have all the space on the lid. So much room for activities. I'm gonna next take the e.l.f. smudge brush and I'm going to go into the shade here for it. And I'm gonna pack that all over the lid. Technically, this is an eyeshadow topper, so it should be on top of something, but they never said it had to be a shadow. So it's just gonna be on top of eyeshadow primer. And in this case, I like that it's sheer just because it gives it a little bit of a hint of purple, but it's not super overpowering. All right, and that's pretty much it for now. For everyone that likes peel porn, this one's for you guys. Okay, so as you can see, the rest of my face is on. I did film my lower lash line and I was talking through it, but as I did the rest of my face, I turned off my camera and my mic, and then I did the rest of my face. And then when I went to turn my camera back on, I forgot to turn on my microphone. And the video is of me talking, but there's nothing coming out of my mouth. So instead, I'm just gonna do a voiceover. It's so funny because me and Crystal were talking after she gave me the palette and I was just like, oh my god, I got the palette. I'm gonna film today. I'm so excited and she was like, okay, good luck with that. Don't forget to turn on your microphone. You know, we've all been there and I said, oh, I never forget to turn on my microphone anymore. That was something I did a long time ago, but I know better now and here we are. But luckily, it's only the lower lash line that we're missing. So I'm just gonna breeze through it because it's it's really simple. So with the fluffy packer brush, I went back into the shade Very Good and I smoked out my lower lash line. Then afterwards, I went in with an e.l.f. eyeliner brush and I went back into the shade Plums Up and I tight lined my lower lash line as well. And then I went back in with the fluffy packer brush and I kind of just blended the two together so that there's no harsh lines. I also went ahead and used the Morphe the M124 brush and I dipped into the shade shiny object and I applied that to my brow bone and after that this is the completed look again super happy with the way everything turned out the colors are blending seamlessly together the eyeshadow topper was really nice in this instance because I wanted it to be subtle I didn't want it to be super opaque because the white base underneath I did want it to peek through and yeah that's it let's move on to the third and final look so first off I'm going in with a Morphe M506 brush and I'm first dipping into the shade Wine Knot and I'm gonna place that into the socket of my eye and a little bit higher and typically people like to have the color more concentrated and smokier on the outside but for the halo eye it's gonna be an even amount of pigment both inside and out and even though this color does look wine colored on my eye it's coming out really really purple which is kind of weird and once that color is down I'm going to start buffing out the edges Okay, so once this color is down, I'm going in with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Rocks On. It is a matte, but it has blue glitters in it. And I'm gonna create the same shape that I just created with this, but just a little bit lower. And it's better to go as low as possible because you are gonna blend it out. And when you blow out the color, it takes it a couple centimeters higher. So you don't wanna go too high. And then before you know it, the whole eye is black. You'd rather start low and then add on if you need it to go a little higher. You don't need to add too much in the middle because it's gonna be carved out and this is gonna look really sloppy don't worry so I'm gonna go back into the M506 brush and I'm just gonna blend this upwards okay and then once that is blended in I'm gonna go in with a clean brush and I'm just gonna further blend out the outer edges okay so after it looks like some version of this I'm gonna take my q-tip and some micellar water and I'm gonna clean out only the middle of my lid and then using a flat shader brush, I'm going back in with my white eyeshadow primer and I'm gonna apply that to the empty space. But I'm also gonna drag it out so that there's a nice fade. I don't want it to be just a stripe in the middle. I told you guys I wanted to improve my halo eyes, so I'm gonna keep doing them until I'm good at them. Next with an M124 brush, I'm going into the shade Shiny Object and I'm applying that on top of the eyeshadow primer and that's gonna be our base. And then with another small flat shader brush, I'm going into this loose glitter, which is called Show Off. And I'm gonna place that right on top of the silver. Now, even though this is kind of like a scattered glitter, on this eye, I didn't put glitter primer and they seem to stay just fine. So I don't think you need it unless maybe you were packing it all over the lid to the point where it's just completely opaque, maybe you would have to. But in my case, they're more scattered. Like I can still see the silver underneath peeking through. Moving on to the lower lash line, I am going back in with my M506 brush and I'm going back into the shade Why Not. 
I'm gonna use that to smoke out my lower lash line. And I'm also gonna connect it with the top shadow. And then with an e.l.f. eyeliner brush, I'm going into the black shade, which is called Roxanne, and I'm going to tight line that into my lower lash line. And then without adding any more product, I'm going back in with my M506 brush, and I'm just gonna blend the two colors together because this black, it's, it's a little harsh. And then with a little pencil brush, I'm going into the shade Lavender, and I'm gonna stick that both into my inner corner as well as my brow bone. This is probably the most disappointing shade to me because I have to dig in really hard to get any type of payoff, and the payoff isn't even that great. Like, I, I really have to scrape this shadow. I feel like they might have pressed it too hard or something. And this is the third and final completed look. If you are still here at this point, thank you for sticking around. I want to give an overview of what I feel about the palette. So on camera, I have used 15 out of the 39 shades for you guys. However, not including the looks that I've created off of camera, I've actually used 22 out of the 39 shades. I've used this cool tone grayish purple color. I've used some of of the neutrals and as well as some of the coppers and a couple more of the eyeshadow toppers. Honestly, I think the best part about this palette is the mattes. The mattes blend wonderfully. I don't get any patchiness. I was a little bit surprised about this wine colored because it's on my eyes and my eyes look extremely purple, which is weird because I wanted to diversify and do a more cranberry shade because I already did two purple looks in the beginning, but it, it turned out purple anyways. <laughs> the eyeshadow top Toppers are a cool idea and they're nice if you want something subtle on your eyes or if you want to add a little bit of oomph on shadow that's already down and you just want to take it to the next level. And another thing that I noticed is it takes a lot of work to get these metallics to show up, to look true to their color in the pan, to show up like that on the lid. Especially colors such as this one, the lavender. I was really digging into it to get even just a little bit of payoff in the inner corner. I don't know if it's a pressing issue or I, or I don't know I, I don't know enough about how these are made to fully understand but I felt like a lot of the colors really need a lot of work to get to the opacity that I really like some of them are better than others but they're not consistent I would say so just know that the metallics will work you just have to put a little bit of elbow grease into it all in all I think the color scheme is really beautiful you can create really colorful looks and on the other side you can create really neutral looks you could go cool tones you could go warm Forms. There's a lot of variety in here and you really can go across the board and mix and match colors You know go a little bit neutral with pops of colors and vice versa. So that is it for this video I hope that you enjoyed let me know if you actually like me doing three tutorials in one video Or if you prefer that I just do one so that these videos don't get super duper long But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and feel free to comment down below What other types of videos you'd like to see from me? Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye!